Hello, I'm Doug Carmen, Special Assistant to the Secretary of Veterans Affairs for Public-Private Partnerships, and I'd like to welcome you to today's VA Partnership Showcase. This is a continuation of our series that highlights successful partnerships between VA and non-governmental organizations. As a veteran myself, I've witnessed firsthand how engaging in public-private partnerships enables us to build capacity, leverage resources, address new and emergent needs, build on the knowledge and experiences of one another, plus they're just the right thing to do. Partnerships are our force multipliers that allow us to expand our knowledge and expertise. Here at VA, we've been working very hard over the past few years to enhance our partnership processes and empower our staff with the right tools and resources to improve P3s at the local level. This is being accomplished by identifying key elements of successful collaborations and then defining ways to standardize these processes that can become commonplace for other partnerships. We are definitely on the way to creating an even more welcoming environment for public-private partnerships. Now I'd like to have Leela Jackson, our Acting Director for the Office of Community Engagement and our Veterans Health Administration, share with you some of the great work they're accomplishing with our private sector partners. Thank you, Doug. Hello, and similar to Doug, my work involves stewarding and leveraging public-private partnerships throughout VA's Veterans Health Administration. The mission of the Office of Community Engagement is to serve as a trusted resource and catalyst for the growth of effective partnerships at the national, state, and community level. We serve as an access point or just a welcoming front door to public and private entities interested in partnering with VHA to benefit veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors. VHA medical centers are nestled in communities that stretch across the United States and its territories. And our nation's veterans are an integral part of those local communities. We know that these local communities have tremendous talent and resources that can expand and enhance VA healthcare services to veterans and their beneficiaries. As a veteran myself, I appreciate the fact that VA extends its walls into a greater community of resources. Our three-part showcase today will highlight VHA's successful partnerships serving homeless veterans. For our first presentation, our lead in this effort is Sandy Beam, coordinator of the Healthcare for Homeless Veterans program at VA Butler Healthcare. Sandy is a subject matter expert who will highlight this successful partnership between the VA and a non-governmental organization. And she'll walk us through the chronology of the partnership. So now let's hear from Sandy, who will share with you an in-depth look at the successful partnership she is leading in Pennsylvania. Sandy? Hello, I'm Sandy Beam, a licensed clinical social worker at VA Butler Healthcare in Pennsylvania. I am very honored to be a part of VA Partnership Showcase event and talking about our Homeless Contract Housing Partnership. As you view the agenda, it outlines the topics I will be discussing regarding our non-governmental organization, NGO Partnership. The VA five-year plan to prevent and end homelessness among vets this opportunity and funding to develop our contract housing partnership. It is our first partnership of this kind, and as you can see on the slide, our partners share our mission for veterans. They empower veterans, they are client-centered, and they have strived to achieve the highest level of independence for the veteran. And as they say, they provide a fresh start for yesterday's heroes with hope for the future. What a great partner to have. What kind of partnership is this? It is a contracted emergency residential service, CERS, partnership. And what does that mean? Services they provide are residential, they're time limited, and quick placement. Quick placement is when we have a veteran come to our facility that is homeless, we are able to contact our partners and have placement. They do not have to stay in that homeless state. Our partners provide transportation, and basically safe and stable living environment that supports recovery. Veterans are able to connect to the VA services and community programs. As previously stated, 
the VA's initiative to end homelessness among veterans, get the veterans off the street, provided this opportunity and the funding to create our VA emergency shelter short-term placement program. The board members of our partner became aware of this initiative. They networked, they identified needs and resources, and responded to the solicitations. And now have successfully partnered with four VAs as well as the Department of Correction, the DOC. I would like to describe the setting of the facility. It is located in a very rural area and there is a hundred miles between the site and VA Butler. Travel can be difficult during inclement weather as you may predict. There's snow, sleet, ice. But location is not a barrier. In 2013, CVT, Clinical Video Capabilities were established, which has allowed us to continue individual group sessions, treatment team meetings, regardless of the weather, the distance, all are possible. With CVT, you're able to actually talk to the person, you see the person's face, you hear the tones, the body language. It was really very, very well received by all, and there was lots of positive feedback. Since our first contract, additional funding has been awarded to continue the successful partnership. It has been a win-win for all. The future of the partnership hinges on continued CERS funding and the staff resources. As I have stated, our partner is located in a very, very rural area. And when I talk with the veterans, I like to say that there is a fence around the facility to keep the bears out of the dumpsters, which is really true. And also I heard recently they have coyotes. There are two residential barracks style buildings, community bathrooms, community showers, very, very limited cell phone capabilities. There are lots of trees, blue skies, and wildlife. Why do I mention this? Why is this important? Because I want to paint the picture that this facility has no frills, no single rooms, no retail stores across the street, no public transportation, but they do have a leader who implemented the recovery model. A very dedicated staff, excellent supporters, and many success stories. This team practices the elements of recovery, respect, responsibility, empowerment, person-centered care, and instilling hope. They change lives for the better, and miracles happen. Through case management, veterans' strengths and barriers to independence are identified. The strengths are built upon, and the barriers are broken down. This facility has moved mountains for veterans. I've had the pleasure of watching veterans' self-esteem, their self-respect, return. I have seen individuals stand taller, personal hygiene and appearances improve. I've seen a sparkle in their eyes and a smile on their face appear. I believe because the veterans are treated with respect and there's no judgment of their past histories, they are motivated to change and hope is truly instilled. Resources utilized. Our community partner provides basic services, food, room and board, transportation, case management, referral services, and financial assistance to the veterans. And what I mean by financial assistance, they have assistance with driver's license, court costs, fines and fees, deposits. They have a wonderful support network. The VA compensates the partner a daily rate for each veteran placed at the facility according to the contract. The VA homeless staff work with the case manager and also provides a referral source. The VA contract officer and the staff implements and maintains the contract. Performance and impact. Goals of independent living, employment, obtaining an income, and education have been met. They are able to engage in VA treatment services and community programs. Veterans have reunited with family members. This partnership not only positively impacted veterans' lives, but also VA staff and our community partner. Again, it was an honor and privilege to participate in the VA Partnerships Showcase event and to share about our Homeless Contract Housing Partnership. I'm sure there are other great organizations like ours to partner with the VA and serve our homeless veterans. Thanks, Sandy. That was a great presentation. 
Now we're going to share with you a couple of questions that we had emailed to us before this uh, event started. One of the things I want to remind you is that if you do have questions that you would like to have addressed, please send them to us at p3 at va.gov. That's p3 at va.gov, and we'll do our best to get a response back to you. Now, let's look at uh, one of the first questions that we received uh, via email just the other day. Uh, this one's for you, Sandy. Uh, we are interested in starting a partnership like this one. What would be our first step? Okay, thank you for your question. Your first step would be to contact your local VA and ask to speak to the homeless coordinator. If you're not sure where your local um, VA is, use our, our website, va.gov, and all the VA hospitals, uh, community-based clinics are all listed with contact information. Just give them a call of the one that's in your area. Great. Thanks for that answer, Sandy. It looks like the, we've got another one for you, Sandy. Okay. Uh, can you please talk a little bit more about the services we would need to provide to veterans? Sure. In this statement of work, it will list the services needed. But basically, what you're providing is the shelter, uh, the personal hygiene, also access to showers. You're, you're also providing nutritious meals access to transportation, access to laundry facilities, and supervision. Great. And uh, this, this email question is for you, Leela. How do I form a partnership with VHA? Thank you for that question. Just email us at vhacommunityengagement at va.gov. That's it. That's an easy enough way to get access. Uh, now, it looks like our last one that we got uh, is for me. So it says, <laughs> how does your new secretary view public-private partnerships? I'm really glad somebody brought that up because Secretary Bob is 100% behind public-private partnerships. He's gone, uh, traveled across the country visiting communities, VA facilities, visiting our stakeholders. And if you've heard him speak before, he talks very passionately about the private coming together, it takes all of us working together collaboratively to be able to provide sort of that holistic approach to the services that veterans, their families, survivors, caregivers, and other beneficiaries really need. So it's without, you know, we can't do it alone by ourselves, and it takes a great partnerships to really be able to deliver the best services that our veterans deserve. Well, our time is about up. Big thanks to everyone who submitted the questions ahead of time. And like I said, if you have questions that you'd like answered, again, email those to us at p3 at va.gov. And I want to thank uh, Sandy for uh, what she shared in her presentations. And keep in mind, partnerships can be a game-changing tool. VA is looking to expand our capabilities by reaching out, increasing, and leveraging the value of responsible and productive partnerships. We are committed to making our collaborations the very best they can be. I want to thank you for your support of the VA and your dedication to serving America's veterans and their families. Sandy, would you like to add anything? Sure. I, too, would like to thank all for joining us during this VA Partnership Showcase. This video of today's Hangout has been uploaded to YouTube in its original form. So please spread the word and share this link with your networks. And please send us your feedback at p3 at va.gov to let us know if, if this was a useful event, what you liked, what we need to improve upon. We have two more showcases this afternoon, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for hanging out. See you back here soon.